Hi traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with a video about the odd USD pin bar and how I traded that reversal on the 4 hour chart. First of all, though, be aware that trading for exchange in global financial markets is considered high risk, may not be suitable for everyone. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for informational and educational purposes only, and by continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer, plus you're aware of the risk involved when trading. All right, so the setup mentioned here live actually in the Admiral Markets uh, webinar. You can take a look at this link to sign up for future webinars. Now let's take a look at that pin bar. All right, odd USD four hour chart. And on Monday uh, for the weekly FX recap uh, that uh, I do for Admiral Markets, you can see basically that I was looking at these blue lines and saying in that video recap uh, that price was going back to a potential bounce and support level. One of the key factors as well was the fact that this could be a inverse head and shoulders. And you can see that you know when you take patterns like this into account, uh, that you can see potential support levels that perhaps others would not see, and um, you know that that definitely was a reason for a potential bounce on this chart. Obviously, we have a very strong break here of the USD to the downside on a weekly and daily chart. We're definitely in downtrend, and uh, when the triangle broke, we certainly had a good continuation. But when we had a double bottom and price starts to rise this quickly with impulse above resistance and is breaking you know trend lines that are you can draw like this for instance right from the top here of course or even like this right clearly resistance broken so when stuff like that happens and you got divergence between the bottoms uh, you have uh, these breaks that i just talked about and the fact that price could retrace deeper then there could be a head and shoulders inverse head and shoulders pattern as well and that's what happened. So what I did was I put a fib from here to here. And I also saw that at this level, there was a 61.8 fib, 50 fib that I could provide a bouncing spot. And price could go up to the target here, the minus 272 target, and as well hook back to that broken trend line, basically. So what I said is that if the four-hour chart shows a pin bar at that level, that could be a very good pin bar because this is kind of a corrective channel, slow kind of, um, you know, bear f bull flag perhaps or in any case looks like a correction uh, compared to this upside so if you see a bullish signal a, sort of a bullish bouncing uh, price action signal at an important s s support level right and an important bouncing spot then those two things are very critical in my opinion and that's why i said in the live webinar if that if price breaks above the pin bar high i would put a stop loss below the pin bar low and I would trail stop the, basically the, most of these candles up to that target, all right? So uh, that's what I did. I actually took profit here about plus 90 pips. Um, saw a bit of a uh, short-term over an extension, so I decided to, to take you know, the profit there. But uh, it was close to the real target, which is probably about, I guess, 25 pips higher, anyhow. And basically that pin bar, providing the, the entry now it doesn't have to be, of course, necessary to break. Some would say, I'd rather take the pullback. And that could have been an option fair and square as well. But it didn't really pull back that deep. It went to the 23.6 fib. And I was definitely looking for a pullback, but was more keeping an eye on the 38, the 50, and the 61.8 fib, to be honest. And that could have been an entry as well. But it didn't retrace that deep and just broke the high. That was the backup uh, entry, in fact, for uh, a breakout here. So love that pin bar at support and this uh, pattern and trade worked out well. So if you're interested in uh, opening account with Admiral Markets, you can do so through this link. Admiral Markets uh, has a lot of good stuff. IT, great customer service, great IT as well. Won the UK award last year in 2015 in, in uh, best broker, best MT4 broker. Plus if you join Admiral Markets through us, we're gonna give away our moving average trend course valued at 890 euros. Plus we're gonna give you credit as you trade and per your volume. So great incentives here to, uh, to try out Admiral Markets and join us as well and uh, learn educational stuff as well because we got great webinars with Admiral Markets each and every week. Hope to see you soon. Wish you good trading. Cheers.